Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers for SAP Fiori interviews. 1. What is SAP Fiori? Answer. SAP Fiori is a user experience UX design approach and a collection of apps that provide a consistent and intuitive user interface for SAP software. It focuses on delivering a role-based, responsive, and personalized user experience across devices. 2. What are the key principles of SAP Fiori design? Answer. A. Role-based, tailored for specific user roles. B. Adaptive, responsive design for various devices. C. Simple, streamlined, and easy-to-use interfaces. D. Coherent, consistent look and feel across apps. 3. How does SAP Fiori enhance the user experience for SAP applications? Answer. SAP Fiori enhances the user experience by providing a modern and intuitive interface simplifying workflows, and enabling users to access relevant information quickly. It promotes user engagement and productivity. 4. What is the SAP Fiori Launchpad? Answer. The SAP Fiori Launchpad is the entry point for SAP Fiori apps. It is a central hub where users can access role-based apps, both SAP Fiori and classic applications, in a unified and personalized environment. 5. Can you explain the concept of Fiori Elements? Answer. Fiori Elements are UI building blocks that allow developers to create Fiori apps with minimal coding. They include templates, annotations, and smart controls, making it easier to design consistent and responsive apps. 6. How does SAP Fiori support responsive design? Answer. SAP Fiori supports responsive design by adapting the layout and behavior of apps based on the screen size and orientation. This ensures optimal user experiences on desktops, tablets, and smartphones. 7. What is the Fiori Design Guidelines, and why is it important? Answer. Fiori Design Guidelines are a set of principles and recommendations for designing Fiori apps. It ensures a consistent and harmonized user experience across different apps, promoting usability and visual coherence. 8. What is the difference between SAP Fiori and SAP UI 5? Answer. SAP Fiori is a UX design approach, while SAP UI 5 is the underlying framework for building Fiori apps. SAP UI 5 is an open source JavaScript framework that supports the development of responsive web apps following Fiori design principles. 9. Explain the concept of Fiori Launchpad tiles. Answer. Fiori Launchpad tiles are visual representations of apps or links on the Fiori Launchpad. They provide a quick and direct way for users to access specific functionality or information. Tiles can be customized and organized. 10. How does SAP Fiori support SAP S for HANA? Answer, SAP Fiori is the recommended user experience for SAP S for HANA. It provides a consistent and modern interface for S for HANA apps, offering role-based access to key functionalities such as finance, logistics, and analytics. 11. What is the difference between Fiori transactional apps and analytical apps? Answer, Fiori transactional apps support specific business transactions while analytical apps provide insights and analytics. Transactional apps are task-oriented, while analytical apps focus on data visualization and analysis. 12. Explain the role of Fiori Smart Business in SAP Fiori. Answer. Fiori Smart Business allows users to create and configure KPIs, dashboards, and analytical apps based on Fiori design principles. It enables users to monitor key metrics and make informed decisions. 13. How can developers extend or customize SAP Fiori apps? Answer. Developers can extend or customize Fiori apps using SAP Fiori elements, SAP Y5, and SAP Fiori app extensions. Extensions can include additional fields, custom logic, or integration with other systems. 14. What is the Fiori app reference library, and how is it useful? Answer. 
The Fiori App Reference Library is a catalog of standard Fiori apps provided by SAP. It includes detailed information about each app, its features, and the underlying data sources. It serves as a valuable resource for app discovery and implementation. 15. How does SAP Fiori support accessibility and inclusivity? Answer. SAP Fiori is designed with accessibility in mind. Following WAG guidelines. It supports screen readers, keyboard navigation, and other accessibility features to ensure that the user experience is inclusive for users with diverse abilities. 16. What are Fiori Elements templates, and how are they used in app development? Answer. Fiori Elements templates are predefined templates for common app types, such as lists, tables, and object pages. Developers can use these templates to create Fiori apps with consistent layouts and behaviors, reducing development effort. 17. What is the role of SAP Fiori Elements? Annotations. Answer. Fiori Elements annotations define metadata for Odata services, enabling the automatic generation of Fiori apps. Annotations provide information about the app structure, behavior, and appearance, simplifying app development. 18. Can you explain the concept of Fiori Launchpad Groups? Answer. Fiori Launchpad Groups are collections of tiles on the Fiori Launchpad. Users can organize tiles into groups based on their preferences or job responsibilities, creating a personalized and efficient workspace. 19. How does SAP Fiori support offline capabilities? Answer. SAP Fiori apps can support offline capabilities using technologies like SAP Fiori Mobile and SAP Cloud Platform Mobile Services. These solutions enable users to access and interact with apps even when offline, with data synchronization upon reconnection. 20. What is the role of Fiori app extensibility in the context of SAP Fiori development? Answer. Fiori app extensibility allows developers to enhance or modify Fiori apps without modifying the standard code. It includes options for adding custom fields, logic, or UI elements to meet specific business requirements. 21. How can users personalize their Fiori Launchpad experience? Answer. Users can personalize their Fiori Launchpad by arranging tiles, creating groups, and selecting themes. They can also customize their home page and adapt the layout to suit their preferences and daily tasks. 22. Explain the Fiori Overview page and its purpose. Answer. The Fiori Overview page is a dynamic dashboard that provides a personalized and aggregated view of key information. It allows users to monitor KPIs, alerts, and other relevant data in a single, customizable view. 23. What is the role of the SAP Fiori My Inbox app? Answer. The SAP Fiori My Inbox app is a central inbox for users to manage and process workflow tasks. It aggregates tasks from various SAP and non-SAP systems, providing a unified and efficient task management interface. 24. How does SAP Fiori support the concept of Fiori Launchpad catalogs? Answer. Fiori Launchpad catalogs are collections of tiles that represent apps or links. Users can subscribe to catalogs to access relevant tiles, and administrators can manage catalog assignments based on user roles. 25. What is the purpose of the SAP Fiori integration in SAP EP, and how does it enhance the user experience? Answer. SAP Fiori integration in SAP EP brings modern, responsive design principles to the portal, enhancing the overall user experience. It allows users to access both classic and Fiori applications seamlessly from a unified entry point. 26. Can you explain the concept of delta linking in SAP EP? Answer. Delta linking in SAP EP is a mechanism that enables efficient content sharing between portals. Instead of duplicating content, portals can reference and link to content stored in other portals, reducing redundancy and optimizing resource usage. 27. How does SAP EP support personalization and customization for end users? Answer. 
SAP EP supports personalization through user roles, allowing users to customize their portal views based on their roles and preferences. This includes arranging views, selecting themes, and defining layout options. 28. What security measures are implemented in SAP EP to protect sensitive information? Answer. SAP EP implements security measures such as SSL encryption, secure user authentication, and role-based access control. These measures ensure that sensitive information is protected and that access is granted based on defined roles and permissions. 29. How does SAP EP handle versioning and change management for portal content? Answer, SAP EP includes versioning and change management features in the portal content directory PCD. Administrators can track changes, revert to previous versions, and manage the life cycle of portal content effectively. 30. Can you explain the role of SAP EP in supporting multilingual portals? Answer, SAP EP provides multilingual support allowing administrators to create and manage portal content in multiple languages. Users can view portal content in their preferred language based on their user profile settings. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.